MEP segments may be divided into standard lengths, allowing better installation, planning, and shop production. The segment lengths are defined in the service specification and take into account the connector definition. Let's take a look at how this works. We'll begin by adding squared around transitional reducers to both ends of the variable refrigerant system. Once you've placed them, you can edit the part to define the diameter of the round duct connector on both reducers. From there, you can change the group for the service you're using. You can specify the length of the straight segment and connect it to the reducer. Revit enables you to easily add fittings. They'll automatically pick up the diameter of the duct and can be rotated during or after placement. The fabrication components are based on item content from Autodesk Fabrication Academy P and Estimy P. When we look at the button properties in Academy P, we can see that the 90 degree elbows less than 12 inches uses a pressed bin and elbows 12 inches or greater use a segmented bin. When we add a 12 inch elbow to the larger duct, we can see that Revit uses the segmented bin based on the specifications in Academy P. With the fabrication detailing in Revit, you can copy, move, and modify the fabrication parts the same as you do with native Revit content. You can use the grips to modify the duct placement like other Revit components. When stretched, the duct extends as you would expect in Revit. You can use the Optimize Length tool to create segment lengths that can be fabricated. Now notice that a coupling has been added to the duct segment as is defined in the services based on the maximum duct, duct length of that specification. Avoid clashes by routing the ducts around services. You can add and rotate taps so that when you route the duct, it goes above the surface. To ensure proper connection to the item components, you can change the connector to match that component. When connecting two ducts on different elevations, you can use the Align tool to make the connection easier. You can add fabrication detail in the section views as well. Now here you can add a 45 degree elbow to each duct segment and then add a one foot straight duct segment to it before aligning them. Now this makes it easier to connect by using the grips to connect both duct segments into a single branch. Here in the 3D view, you can see how we're able to route the duct around other services, as well as be able to optimize straight duct lengths.